Hey, what up, guys? It's Annie Tier Guild Forever. We're going to do a. I was about to say live reaction, a review for ReZero episodes 49 and 50. We have completed season 2 of ReZero. It was amazing. I loved it. It definitely outdid itself from season 1. Now then, now that we binged ReZero and it's finished, let's see what else I got on top of my list to binge right now and catch up or finish. Let me know in the comments section down below based on series I'm already watching or something new. It's up to you guys. The power is in your hands. So let me know in the comment section. Let me know through Discord. Again, links to my Discord are links in the description. Uh, links to my Discord in the description below. All my links are in the description, so make sure you check that out. Like this video up, man. We finally completed Reaser. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to finish this and I'm I'm actually glad I did finish it and I'm very happy with how it, it ended and it was a fun journey. I'm very happy with it, but now I'm sad. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little sad because like I'm caught up now. Now I got to wait. It's like when you catch up or finish an anime, it's like you're left with an empty void in your chest and you just want something else to fill it. That's how I feel right now. However, can we just say that would you consider it a confession what Subaru and Beatrice went through in episode 49 would you consider it in a confession because if you do I say it rivaled that of Rem and Subaru's confession I don't care I mean I will say probably Rem and Subaru's like the confession there was better but this was still very very heavy for Beatrice and honestly I loved every second of it Beatrice is adorable, bro. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. And you can't tell me otherwise, because even though she looks like a lolly, she's <laughs> she's technically legal. She's for she she's lived four hundred years. Okay? Now don't get it twisted. I'm not saying I'm into her, okay? Calm down. But I'm just saying technically she's <laughs> she's what is known as a legal lolly. She has the body of a lolly, but Mentally, she's four, she's over 400 years old. God dang. But yeah, so again, for any series that I put on hiatus that you guys want to see me binge or catch up to, like binge and catch up to next, let me know in the comment section down below in this video. Or if it's something new, let me know in the comment section in this video. Or on Discord, you can let me know there. Either way, I'm fine with it. But we are finally done with ReZero. Well, not done. The series isn't over. It's just, how can I say this? It's just we caught up and there's nothing else to go on. I think there's light novels for this series or man I don't know if there's a manga. I haven't I don't know. So I don't want to read light novels, okay? Light novels are boring as I don't care what anyone says. Light novels are boring to me. To me, okay? So, just saying. But either way, um finally caught up. Just let me know what I got to see next. Still, though, I gotta say, though, Subaru's harem is just getting bigger and bigger. Like, holy crap. First it was Rem. Then it was Petra. I think that's a... I don't... I don't think... I wouldn't count Petra. She's just a kid. But, okay. Um... Emilia. And now Beatrice. The man is becoming the next harem king. Ah, oh, man. But still, it's looking... <clears throat> unlike before, though. If you really think about it, unlike before, Subaru's harem wasn't really Amelia in it. If you really think about it, like from season one and early season two. Because Amelia only ever saw Subaru as a friend as someone important she, she he was someone important to her but not really like in a romantic sense even though it was obvious he was always coming on to her all the dang time and he never gave up he was persistent i'll give him that until she finally saw his worth and then she finally saw him as someone she deeply cares about and obviously she said that after the selection is over they're gonna have an important talk i'm assuming about the relationship <clears throat> Still, though, the thing is, she said an important talk. So, 
does that necessarily mean she's going to be rece I mean, it looks like on the surface that she's going to be receiving Subaru's feelings. Let me know, guys. Do you think the important talk is to say, like, oh, like, to be in a relationship? Or is it something else? Or do you feel like she may even turn him down? But then again, she did appoint him as her knight. And she, and she does kind of seem like she's more affectionate toward him. So I feel like she does... She does reciprocate his like she does she she is returning her his feelings. So with that being said in mind, in detail, but if it's a spoiler, don't tell me. Um, are there are those feelings going to be returned back and they become a relationship? And what I want to know is when is Rem coming back? Cause I'm sick and tired of the girl just basically being. She's pretty much in a coma. <clears throat> like, Rem isn't necessarily dead, right? Like, she ain't dead. She's just in a coma, right? I don't know. I just don't recall. Just let me know. But, yeah, um, hopefully she comes back. I really want her to come back because, um, <sighs> actually, now I think about it. But let's be honest. The, f the main girls in Subaru's harem is... Rem, Amelia, and Beatrice. Um, who would I say is best girl? <sighs> That's a toughy one. I feel like it's between Amelia and Rem. Because I... Jesus Christ, the Rem, bro. Rem is like that one waifu. That you keep for life. Like you, like you ring that woman. But then again, Amelia has come a long way herself. I don't know, me personally, I still probably lean towards Rim, but Amelia is really, really close. Like, if people would say Amelia is best girl, I wouldn't even be object. I wouldn't even object to that. I would be cool with that, because honestly, I still don't know. I say Rim right now, but it, 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 later on, it could be Amelia. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll have that as a separate question. Who do you guys think is best girl? Hmm? Try not to be at war with people on over the best girl. Just be civilized, please. And, uh, yeah, we just have to wait for season three, man. I'm sure you guys know how season three is for those that read the light novel or manga or whatever. Would you say season three is just as good as season two better or worse? I don't know. Let me know. But again, without spoilers. Is there anything else I want to say? Um, other than Waswell being a little piece of trash but he changed i suppose he can't do anything anything to them now thanks to that oath seal excuse me thanks to that oath seal he really can't do anything at all to them so it's like yeah we can say what we want but it seems like he, he he's done like, the man's done. He ain't gonna cause trouble no more ever again. I'm pretty sure. But how do you feel, though? Again, um, I didn't really care for the confession between Roswell and uh, Ram. I personally never cared about that ship. Ever. At all. I honest, honestly... I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I prefer Garfield and Ram ship. I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel like that's a better ship, but Ram loves Roswell. <clears throat> and I know it's like I'd rather not be told who I should. Uh, yeah, I get it. The heart wants what the heart wants, but nah, I agree with Beatrice. You have horrible taste, bro. I'm just saying. I don't care what anyone says. The man practically killed you girl you almost died granted yes he did help save you and keep you alive but woman the man did not hesitate to burn you to a crisp over a damn book i don't care stupid dumb as heck i don't care what anyone says I do not care for that ship. I think that is the worst ship in the series. 
Out of all the ships I've seen, that is the worst. I personally think Ram should have picked Garfield. I feel bad for Garfield. It is what it is, bro. You lucked out, unfortunately. Better luck next time. I'm sure you'll find someone better. <laughs> someone not as dull as Rim. Ram, I meant to say. Ram. Someone not as dull as Ram. But anyway, guys, once again, that's it. Let me know in the comment section what you want to see me bench next. Or you can tell me directly on uh, Discord. Links are in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, all that good stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed the journey. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Peace. I'm out.